The Journey of Inez Jasper. Music comes in a variety of forms and from many different people. Jay-Z has created some of the most popular rap music in history. Michael Jackson was an idol to hundreds of millions of people, and Taylor Swift continues to produce hit country songs. Considering these musical legends, however, there are none that are quite as unique as Inez Jasper. From being a full-time nurse to raising two children, to disrupting the R&B musical space all at the same time, Inez Jasper is a lyrical treasure with a talent unlike any other. Inez was born and raised in the city of Chilliwack in British Columbia, Canada. Chilliwack is not home to any ordinary town, however. Specifically, Inez grew up as a member of the Stolo First Nation, a native Aboriginal group on the Skokal Reserve. Embracing her heritage, which includes Stolo, Matisse, and Ojibwa, Inez continued her life journey to eventually attend the University of British Columbia in hopes of becoming a nurse. In 2006, she did just that and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Nursing was her greatest passion, so Inez decided to return home to Chilliwack, where she could create a real impact and serve the Stolo community. Once Inez returned to the Skull Cow Reserve, she began working at the health center as a nurse on the reserve island. Although she loved serving her people, Inez had a second passion that she was eager to pursue, and that passion was music. With an incredible voice, Inez took to following her dreams. Starting in 2009, she quickly gained traction and eventually recorded two albums. In 2013 and 2014, and thus spent her time touring and promoting her music as a full-time musician in the R&B space. Her big break as a musician finally came in 2014, when she was nominated for a Juno Award for Al Original Album of the Year. With this award and many other impressive accolades, Inez established herself as a musical force in the Aboriginal space. Achieving this level of musical success does not come from thin air, however. And as they utilize her dense and meaningful heritage as a member of the Stolo First Nation to mold her lyrical style into a musical masterpiece. And as Jasper is primarily considered an R&B artist. However, she greatly differentiates herself in that her ancestral roots have a major influence on her musical style. From the very beginning, Inez was encouraged to pursue music. Her parents, who were both musicians, enrolled her in classical violin lessons at the age of three, with the hope that she could transfer these violin skills to fiddling, a tradition practiced by her Matisse grandfather. Inez was directly impacted by her heritage early on in her life and this continued to be the case throughout her entire musical career. To this day, she gives a lot of credit to her family on the Skokow Reserve for instilling in her traditional values and traits of hard work and resiliency. Applying these traits and traditions to her unique R&B style, Inez set out to create many popular songs, such as Stick Game Jam, a song that is rooted deep in her heritage. The song Stick Game Jam by Inez Jasper, featuring Big Phil, is directly influenced by her Stolo background. This song specifically refers to Inez, Inez's people's gambling tournaments, which involve stick or bone games that are exclusive to the Stolo people and other indigenous tribes. With her culture in mind, Inez crafted the song in a way that emphasizes who she is at heart. In the song, fast-paced hand drums are being played, which are traditionally meant to spur gambling players on. These deep sounding drums create a more upbeat tempo that Inez complements perfectly with her high-pitched and unique timbre. 
also featuring the song, however, is an artist by the name of Big Phil, who explicitly tied the song to Stolo heritage through his tribal chorus. The sounds of the drums and Nez's unique timbre and Big Phil's chorus combined for a quick rhythm and a thicker texture that efficiently layers the sounds and voices. The mastery of which the song Stick Game Jam is created makes for an extremely pleasant experience to the listener. But Inez's Jasper's music has a far greater impact on a social level. Music is far different for Inez than it is for ordinary people. To the average person, music is listened to for pleasure. And many times, the words are simply words. There is no significant meaning to them. In Inez Jasper's words, music is about representing her people and giving people who relate to me a chance to be inspired and make their dreams come true. For Inez, creating music is meant to act as an inspiration and a medium to bring light to her people on the Skokal Reserve. Historically, Inez and her people have not been represented fairly or truthfully. Inez even takes the saying, because of experiences such as residential schools, our image as Aboriginal people has been skewed. So we have to work to repair it, heal it, and change the way we see ourselves. Motivated in this way, Inez seeks to represent herself and the Stolo people from within and with her music. Other Aboriginal artists, such as Buffy St. Marie or Redbone, fought to take a stand in society to represent their heritage. But Inez takes a different route, as she simply looks to represent not only her people, but those who can relate to her. Rather than making the issue political, Inez is more focused on creating change through her heart. She approaches the social issues for Aboriginal people in an extremely unique way that comes from confidence from within. And that says that it's not about wearing some Aboriginal symbol or a feather in your hair, because clearly this is just a show. Rather, it's about knowing who you are in your heart and carrying that pride wherever you go. This approach to social issues regarding the Aboriginal people is extremely uncommon. Most would believe that constant visual support for Aboriginal people is a necessity. However, Inez argues just the opposite is true. It is about knowing who you are in your heart. And once you can identify this pride, it can be expressed through ways such as music. Inez has been successful now she goes about representing social issues. And to this day, she continues to stand for the people of the Stolo First Nation and all those who are inspired by her. Currently, Inez Jasper is not touring and is living in her hometown of Chilliwack. Here, she works, works to balance her life as a full-time nurse, musician, and mother of two kids. Although music is one of her greatest passions, she says, I really miss nursing when I was touring. I love helping people. I love doing health education and seeing the results of this work in families and children. Going back to Chilliwack to serve her community, it is evident that Inez Jasper is a truly unique human being. From working as a nurse to being a talented musician, Inez is constantly working to create an impact, drive change, and represent her people of the Stolo First Nation. Now, without further ado, please welcome Inez Jasper. 